Today in this video I'll show you how to install multiple mods for Diablo 2 Resurrected. Let's get started. Many players have asked me this question before in one of my previous videos, so it's time to fill the void. There is no way, at least to my knowledge, to run multiple mods at once, as technically the game can just run one mod, but there's one easy solution I'm going to show you here, which doesn't require any tools and much experience to make this possible. For this demonstration I will use the second popular mod called Vanilla Plus by Xandru and several smaller mods that will work together. We will start with some basics. First of all we need to download Vanilla Plus mod from nexusmods.com, unzip it to a Diablo 2 folder and place this mod into mods folder. Just make sure that after you open mods folder there should be mods code name, in our case Xander. Always read the instructions as the process may differ. Now navigate into this folder and you will see the same name folder with the .mpq extension. This indicates that this mod is unpacked and stored in a single folder instead of one packed mpq file. I will explain this later. So since most of the latest overhaul mods come unpacked, we go back to the Diablo 2 folder, create a new shortcut from the exe file and in the target window type command argument mod Xander txt. And then we can launch this mod with our shortcut and play offline. Back to mods folder, some older mods like this one for example may be packed and have this single kind of file instead of mpq folder. In this case these mods can be launched without txt argument in a shortcut, however the downside of these files is that you can't easily add extra mods on top of the current one and you will have to use additional tools and some advanced skills to unpack, edit all these files and merge them back. So we installed our Xander mod, we are happy that it just works, but we still want to add some extra flavors like glowing runes, visual effects, higher mob density, extra stash space or some something else. Let's start merging then. Just don't forget to back up your files in case you mess anything up. Firstly I want to add extra inventory to my game. In this video I'll use expanded storage. After downloading the file open it and navigate to the data folder with the JSON file next to it and simply drag and drop this data folder to our Xander mode and confirm replacing it. After this procedure you can run the game with the shortcut as shown before to see the results. The second mod I wish to install for this demo is enemy multiplier mod created by Sonic Edge. Same procedure as before, just put this data folder in the right place and confirm the replacement. Glowing runes is another simple mod that will change the icons for all existing runes in the game. And as a finishing touch let's add new auras for our characters. You can now see the results on my screen. So that is pretty much the whole modding process with the mpq folders. But as a side note I must say that some mods that implement similar features like expanded inventory, drop rates, cube recipes or any other changes can break things and cause unexpected bugs or crashes so always test new features after merging and back up your files. If you followed my easy steps you should be fine. I know it can be complicated and if you still have any questions regarding mods make sure to check frequently asked questions in the post on my website or ask me anything here in the comments. I hope this video was helpful, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to support my channel as this really means a lot to me. Thank you for watching and listening, have a nice day and happy modding.